I didn't believe that I was good enough. Who am I? Who am I to go and build this empire based on code and I'm not even like a real programmer? In this video, we are talking about do I need to know X before I can do Y? No. Testing one, two, three. Your biggest fan, the real Casadero, and we are here in the lab. In this video, we are talking about do I need to know X before I can do Y? Do I need to have this skill or know this skill or know these people before I can get this job doing this thing over here? I don't think so. But again, right, I have not reached the highest echelons of power. I don't know what it's like to be the CEO of a multi billion, million, even hundred thousand dollar corporation. I have no idea about any of these things. My experience here at the bottom starting out, I left the military, I went to school, I was in school, and I realized that the people in school were teaching me stuff that I already knew. I went back to school, one, because I didn't believe I had all of the knowledge. And then number two, I had been in the military, so they were gonna pay for it. It was gonna be essentially free. Well, not free, because I, I earned it with like 14 years of sweat and tears, but anyway. The point is that I didn't need to go back to school. I figured it in my mindset was I'll go to school, I'll finish this thing and then, you know, I'll get a job doing this thing, whatever that thing was. I didn't even know. I went to school for like uh, software development. And while I was there, I was learning all kinds. I had classes on web development, classes on programming and programming paradigms. I had math classes, English, cl English, English, English. Yeah, that had an English class I had to take all these classes. So anyway, I left there and I went into car sales and I started selling cars. And this is where I got the best education because I realized that all the other stuff, the skills that I thought I needed to have, that I thought I, I needed to know, like I, our, our, the, the number one skill that I needed was the ability to go learn the other stuff. So, uh, so I go and I sell cars and then I, I leave there and I get the job at a huge corporation um, as a system administrator thought about starting a business. I'm going to make a course. I'll do the YouTube channel. I'll make the hats. I'll ship the, I'll ship and sell the hats through this whole process. Even though I had done all of this stuff and I had seen all of these things and I knew how to do all of this stuff, right? Like I do, I knew how to make the hat. I knew how to make the stickers. I knew how to build the websites, put all the stuff together, make it. I didn't believe that I was good enough. Who am I? Who am I to go and build this empire based on code? And I'm not even like a real programmer. And what is that? What is a real programmer anyway? That's the, that's the, 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 the point, the, the, you don't need anything but the will to act. That's all you got to have. Just the will, the ability to decide this is what I want to do. And this is how I'm going to do it. And you can decide how by picking the time frame. Now, some people are going to get crazy. They're like, yo, like I want to be a millionaire by Sunday, right? It's possible you could do it, but you're going to have, you have to take some massive, massive, massive action, massive action, man. Right? Like you got to like not robbing banks and stuff, but you could do it. Like you could go and, and, and probably meet the right people and put together a million dollar deal in a week. It's going to take some skills. You're going to have to learn these skills. Going to find a job anywhere isn't going to give you the skill to go out and make a million dollar to close a million dollar deal in a week. N n name a place. If there was a place where you could work, people, people would be lined up. People would be paying their money to get into that place. Oh my God, it exists. This place is called college. People are lining up at college to give them money so they could get some some experience so they can get some knowledge that's going to bump them to the to the, the head of the line, but they aren't getting that knowledge. So you 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 we're told to go to school to get this knowledge is going to bump us to the head of the line. We go to school, we pay our money, we get the knowledge and we didn't get the bump. And then somebody says, yo, just go out into the workforce and hang out there for, for a little while, get the skills, prove, prove yourself. And then you can go out and you can make your mark on the world. And hundreds of millions of people go down this path every year. And hundreds of millions of people die at the end of their lives going, Sh I didn't do the thing that I was meant to do, that I was, whatever it is, man. No, you don't know. You, you don't prove yourself to who? Get proven how. The people who you're proving yourself to inside of whatever company you're working at, they will never buy anything from you. It is highly unlikely that they will buy the service that you have. You got to find the people that will buy the service that you have. And you got to start looking for them yesterday before you know how to do. If you know that you want to do this thing, you should be selling it to people before you even know how to do it.
because you can figure out this is the 21st century. You can find the person to deliver it. You can learn how to do it. The thing that they're paying you for is time. Save me some time. Save me some money. Help me make some more money. And that's the selling proposition. Save you time. Save you money. Help you make more money. Businesses hire people to do pro processes to save them time, save them money and make them more money. That is it. So anybody who says like, yo, like you should go do this thing so you can get whatever skill so you can go out and start your own business doing this thing. Ask them, how long is it going to take for me to get this skill? Nobody knows. There's no answer. Most of the most successful people on this planet just started. They didn't know what they were doing. Think of rap music. Nobody knew what rap music was before some dude started rapping. Nobody cared about computers until a couple dudes was like, yo, we're going to put a computer on every desk. People said they were crazy. World's biggest computer company goes, yo, bro, don't nobody want no computers in their offices on their desks. Get out of here. And now everybody has a computer on their desk everywhere. Every, every home in America has a computer. And some people are going, oh, no, right? We got the nation. Oh, no, Cass, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Every home in America does not have a computer. They just don't. Yes, they do. Every home has one of these. And if they don't have one of these, they have a TV. And the TV is nothing more than a little computer, stupid computer that does very little, very little. If you're watching, if you're watching YouTube, you, we know you got the internet and whatever you, whatever you're watching YouTube on, it is computing. There is code in there going around making it do the thing it does. In business, all you need is a customer. That is it. One, two, three, five, ten. That is it. You need people who are willing to vote for you with their dollar bills. I will give you my money if you can help me do this thing. That is it. That is it. They don't care how you, some people care. And if that's a problem for you, then those aren't your customers. You want the customers that don't care. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. Legally, ethically, morally. Some of you, you're criminals. Just do it. But I'm not saying go be a criminal. Don't, don't be a criminal, but you get my point here? You just got to do it. You just got to do it. And so, right? And, and this is how you do it, right? And I didn't realize this because I should have been out selling and marketing back when I had a job and I wasn't. In, in, in these struggles that I've been having, I realized that like, dude, all I had to do was come up with a way to get to, to, to prospect, to find people who may be interested in what I was selling while I was at work doing my job. Because one thing I was like, how am I going to build a business if I'm working from nine in the morning to five at night or eight in the morning to seven at night. Every, when I need to, the, the people that I want to sell my services to, they're not at work anymore. They're sleeping. Right? And some people are like, yo, Cash, you just figure it out, man. Well, well, yeah, you're right. You're right. You just figure it out. You just figure it out. But it doesn't have to take five years or 10 years or whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't need to take that long, right? If it's taking, if it's taking, man. Okay. So dude, like all you have to do is figure out who you're going to sell stuff to and then get in front of them. That's the whole deal. And that's what, and, and I made a course about this and I, I didn't even make the course because I didn't think I was good enough, right? I put it online. I made some videos, some free courses. People are going to the free courses and they are finding the course that I haven't even finished making and posted it. And they're signing up for this course to show them how to do the stuff that I'm talking about. Like I, this is all stuff that I learned from other people. And I realized from, from, from being in sales, you just got to get customers. You just got to get in front of people. So the first part of the course, right. And it was, it was intended to be a course on, on beginning people who are just learning to code like, Hey, right. Like, I don't know anything. I I'm working at subway and I don't like it. And I want to go work somewhere else. And I heard learning to code was the thing, right? Where do I start? Like that was the thing. Like this is where and then I put together a course that, you know, a little more, a little more, a little more. But at the same time, I think there's people on Udemy and all these other they put they got these courses like why would anybody want to buy a course for me? And then I realized I realized that it's not a course that I'm selling. It's a mindset like there's people who want to be entrepreneurs who want to go the freelance route like they're looking in the wrong direction. They're like, yo, like I need to go learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript and then I can go be whatever it is I want to be. No, you don't have to do that. So in the first part of the course, like the very first module is like how to get customers, like which I had to figure out the hard way, like how to actually go out and get clients and, and automate the process. So if you do have a job, you're not spending all day on your phone in freaking text messaging people and emailing people and all this other stuff. Like you can set it up and, and, and make it run 
and you can manage it. Again, the ultimate goal for the for that whole thing is to get people out of their heads. And so they start thinking a different way and they start taking action because that's what I didn't do for a long time. I was just like, you know, right. I'll try all this other stuff. And I wasn't working as hard as I could have been working because I didn't think any of this stuff would work. Right. And then I wasn't even confident in myself. So the, I guess that's the first thing is be confident in yourself. Number two, leap. Hey, look, I'm going to go do this thing. Come hell or high water. I'm going to make it happen. But number three, the very main thing you need, you need to you need the ability to sell and to get in front of people. That's it. You don't need a network of people. You don't need to go out and make all these crazy friends. You just got to find people who have a problem that you can solve and get them to pay you to solve it. And if you want to check out the course code three, six, five startup lab dot com, there's like six free deals on there, introduction to HTMLs and all that. And I'll make some other courses, but the main course, I'm going to release it here. Uh, it's open, right? It's open for pre sign up, so you can you can register for it in the modules I'm uploading on a regular basis. But I'm showing you everything that I'm doing out here in the world in order to get clients and all of this crap. But anyway, team, that is it. That is it. You don't need anything else. You got all the tools you need. They're all there, right? If you're, if you're what. If you're watching this, whatever you think it is that you do not know, that you need to know, I'm telling you, you don't need to know it. You just let the world vote for you. Just go try to sell it. Put it in front of as many people as you can. And if you don't know how to do that, you should take the course. It'll show you how to do it. All right, team, I'm your biggest fan of Real Casadero. I'm out of here.